And happening right now, crews are on site of a deadly plane crash, removing the wreckage. Two people were killed in the crash in Winston-Salem Saturday afternoon. The pilot and the passenger on board were a husband and wife headed to visit family for the holidays. Fox 8's Lauren Crawford is on is live on New, New Walkertown Road and Chem Drive where the crash happened. Lauren, what's happening out there right now? Yeah, well, NTSB officials are using large machinery to remove large pieces of the plane. It crashed here just a few miles from Smith Reynolds Airport. After talking to family members and receiving an update from NTSB investigators, we've learned the couple was flying from St. Louis to Winston Salem to visit their son and grandchildren, a trip that they've made several times. While in the air, they began experiencing trouble with their engine, but thought they'd be okay. Our one engine's not making as much power as the other one. We're okay, but uh, that's why we had the hesitation. You don't require any assistance? No. NTSB investigators say the plane departed from St. Louis around 6.30 Saturday morning and headed to Winston-Salem. The plane made a stop in Kentucky before continuing to Smith Reynolds Airport where the couple was supposed to land on runway 33. The plane crashed on a neighborhood street just a couple miles short of landing. No one on the ground was hurt. An investigation now underway to examine any contributing factors that may have caused the crash. We'll be looking at the airframe in the engine, so we'll be looking at the logbooks and, uh, and uh, diagramming the aircraft as it sits right now. And then we'll be looking into the environment uh, yesterday, what the weather was, the winds were, anything that may have impacted um, that flight. Again, crews you see out here this morning starting the plane removal process. NTSB investigators have requested aircraft data, including check in points, and we're told that this process typically takes about three to four weeks. Live in Winston Salem, Lauren Crawford, Fox 8 News.